Hi everybody, my name is Jamal Kukuru and I am a member of the European Galaxy team uh, at the University of Freiburg in Germany. And today in this video, I will show you different ways to add an additional file space to your Galaxy server. Uh, here I am in the web page of the Galaxy training material. And uh, from here, we move to the Galaxy server administration topic following this link. Uh, the tutorial of today is this one, the distributed object, object storage tutorial. And um, just before to start with, with it, uh, um, I would need to advise you that uh, uh, you need to know about something about Ansible and you need to have a Galaxy server up and running. If you need help with both of them, there are other two tutorials here. This one, Ansible, that to describe you what Ansible is and how to use it. And this other one that uh, show you how to install a Galaxy server with Ansible. In particular, the distributed object storage tutorial um, will start by the end of the, the Galaxy installation with Ansible tutorial. We will use uh, a play, the playbook uh, obtained following this tutorial. Okay, we can move into the tutorial and here we are. Um, first of all, so you need to add some new storage to your Galaxy server. Okay, Galaxy has a, a technology named the object store that is a kind of a abstraction layer that uh, decouples Galaxy's business logic from the details of the storage solution of your choice. So this means that uh, um, the object stores make, uh, makes it possible to store data on a wide variety of persistence media, spanning from a local storage to a cloud-based solution like uh, Amazon S3 or uh, OpenStack Swift. And um, the first step, uh, we will uh, see how to create um, a hierarchical object store into your Galaxy server. The Arachita Object Store allow you to, in a few words, allow you to read data from the first backend where data exists and allow you to write them always to the first backend of the list of the Object Store. So as a first point, <clears throat> we need to modify our playbook, adding a new um, variable that uh, let Galaxy knows where is the object store configuration file. So I copy this one, then I move into the uh, shell of the virtual machine where uh, I have uh, a Galaxy server up and running. And uh, here we have a directory galaxy where is the, the playbook um, that uh, installed the galaxy server into this host. So um, here we have a, a file with all the Ansible variables. And I'm going to add here these new variables, the object store config file. And that is one modification to this file. But then we need to also instruct Galaxy to know where uh, should uh, should find this file and, and the, the Ansible playbook uh, where to retrieve the file to put in that part. So we move uh, we move in the Galaxy config templates section here. 
that we had uh, this new configuration. The source, where are the, the templates and the, that the character Ansible playbook should use and the destination where the templates should be written. Okay. And that's all for the um, Ansible variables. Then we need to know, we need to create the, the, the new templates. Uh, so again, we create a new file in the templates directories, um, copying from the tutorial. Here are uh, the details of our uh, files. So uh, you can see here is a, an XML file. You have a, an object store entity here with type uh, hierarchical and uh, a backend section that define two backends, one with uh, the new data and one with uh, the old data. So uh, this part is where actually the Galaxy server is uh, writing, is uh, written is writing the data set. And then uh, we added the new part here, slash data two, where we want, uh, from now on, the Galaxy server have to write the data set. As you can see, there is also a tag here, order, that defines the order in which uh, the, the backend will be used by Galaxy. So um, that means that uh, Galaxy uh, will use the, the, um, this backend to read data if, if there are data there. And uh, we use this uh, backend instead to read and write data. And that's okay. Uh, we save the file. Okay, then we need that. To make another modification instead this time to the directly to the playbook because we need to create uh, the directory the new directory that uh, we will use uh, um, as a for for uh, for the new backend Okay, and here we have the data two directory. Okay, that's all. So now we are ready to rerun the playbook <coughs> and uh, at, we are, at the end um, we move to the Galaxy server and try to, to run some, some tools to see if the data set will be written to the new uh, backend directory. Okay, here I have my Galaxy server. As you can see, I have uh, uploaded before a data set. We can check the details of this, of this data set. And we can see here that the part is, uh, the full part of this data set is into the slash data part. So the whole one. Here we can see that uh, uh, the Ansible playbook uh, had the, the new file. And uh, okay, in a couple of seconds, uh, yeah, it finished. 
it finished to run and then we can now move to the Galaxy server and verify if uh, <clears throat> the, the new data set will be written into the slash data to path. Um, here I have um, a simple data set, a collection of uh, data collection of uh, highly samples. And for example, uh, we can We can filter data from this data set, for example, uh, we can, there are several species of iris in this data set. Setosa, Versicolor, and uh, Virginica. For example, I want to filter all the Virginica uh, rows from the data set. And the column is the number five. Okay. <clears throat> this is a very small data set, so the, the tools will run in a few seconds. Okay. We have the result, we have only the Virginica rows, and then we can check the path. Uh, here we are. The full path of this data set is slash data two. So Galaxy started to write a data set into the new path, as expected. And that's all for the hierarchical, hierarchical object store. Uh, after that, we can instead uh, um, prepare a galaxy to use a distributed object store. Rather than searching um, a hierarchy of object stores until the data set is found, galaxy can store the ID, the database of the object store in which a data set is located when the data set is created. So, um, Again, in few words, distributed object store allow you to read data from the first backend where the data exists and um, to write them into a pseudo-randomly selected backend. Pseudo, the pseudo-random selection is based on the uh, admin specified weights for, uh, for the backends. Um, so as you can see here, um, the details, uh, we have a different type of uh, the object store, distributed one. Again, a backend section, that's for our object store configuration file. Uh, the backend section where we have two backend defined. Uh, again, we the new data and old data, but uh, instead of uh, the order tag, here we have the, the way tag uh, that to describe the, the a sort of hot that Galaxy can use to choose which uh, uh, which backend use. In this case, uh, they have the same weight. So Galaxy 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 will will write to this backend with the same hot. Okay, so we can copy um, this configuration, move into our server. Uh, again, mm, we need to modify the templates. few minutes we will have the new configuration up and running in our 
Ne var bastı? Okay, the blue book finished, and we can try uh, the new configuration in the Galaxy server. So we can move here. So here, the idea is that I can start uh, um, some tools, and uh, the result uh, should be written uh, sometimes in one backend, and sometimes in the other backend. So run this job again. Go one time, two, three, four, five, just to be sure. Okay, now we can check the path. The first one has been written in two. slash data to path. Instead of the second one, again, slash data to. The third one instead in slash data and, and so on with the other slash data. Slash data to. Okay, so it's clear. Uh, it's working. So we have uh, uh, configured the um, uh, Galaxy to use a distributed object store, and we have seen that uh, some tools uh, start to write data set into one backend and others into the uh, second backend. And that's all for, uh, if, if you want to see, if you want, mm, you can find more information um, into the um, object store configuration example that uh, is available to the Galaxy project uh, uh, GitHub repository. Here we have the link. There is also a good web page in the Galaxy community hub just uh, go to the um, to galaxyproject.org and search for a Galaxy Object Store. Also here you can have uh, uh, more details and uh, some example of different uh, configuration. That's all for me. Uh, just uh, recommend you to go to the end of the tutorial web page and where you can find the feedback section and please uh, give us uh, uh, your feedback about this tutorial this allow you, this allows us to improve um, our materials thank you goodbye